folks. Uh, and I don't. Yeah, I do. <laughs> I can't see Jack without my glasses. I can't read. I can see, but. All right, it is Saturday, May 18th, 2024. It is 12, 12 p.m. And this, my friends, is the second time I've done this video. Because I got two minutes and 32 minutes into the first video and my card, my SD card, ran out of capacity. Because I had them long trips on it and I didn't delete them. I started this thing where I wasn't, uh, I used to delete every time I recorded, I used to delete to clean the card off. And I said, you yeah, know, maybe I don't want to do that every time. Maybe, maybe it's good to just do that when the card gets full, you know, kind of like a battery or something. I don't know. But anyway, so this is the second video here. I hope you all are doing well. Um, my Poison Ivy, it's gotten better. Thankfully, it did not take hold and start going crazy. But I still have places that on my skin that are kind of begging me to scratch them and I'm not scratching them. I don't do that. One thing you learn about uh, with poison ivy is uh, don't scratch that itch. Just don't do it. So what do we got here? Um, well, I just wanted to show you what my necessities are of uh, what I take every day no matter what. Uh, even when I'm on a fast. So first off, obviously, we got the Deer Park water here, okay? Um, that was cold a little bit ago. Secondly is home tea. I call it home tea. And this is green tea right here. This is green tea. And this is green tea that I buy from a local Afghani market. Um, I bought two of these and two of these and one of these and it was like $65. But that's enough tea to get me going for uh, probably about six months. So, and the guy, the guy made me laugh. He's a wonderful guy. He goes, you like tea? <laughs> I said, yeah, <laughs> apparently. <laughs> And I went down there and I paid cash for it. And this, uh, you know, it's a strange thing. When I started first drinking green tea in the little bags from uh, Bigelow and stuff like that, I couldn't stand the taste. You know, it, was, it tasted like lawn grass, you know. But this green tea is a little bit different. Um, it's just dried green tea. It's nothing, nothing, you know, that's been ultra processed. Um, but it it has a pretty good taste to it. But this right here is it's called Vital, but it's it's black tea. It's just regular old black tea. So if you if you look at this tea, this is the green tea. It kind of cracks me up because you know it kind of looks a little bit like pot, you know. <laughs> yeah, my pot tea, you know. But it, it's just fresh, dehydrated tea that they grind up, they put in there, okay? And this is the black tea right here. You can see it right here. I don't even have to take it out, but you can see it right there, okay? And it's, uh, it's, it's strong. It's good, okay? But so how do I make my tea? Well, I make my tea in a Mr. Coffee coffee maker, the old school drip coffee maker. And how do I make it? Well, first off, this is really important, and I didn't realize how important this was until I did not have this. But this is uh, Melita. These are premium uh, coffee filters, and they're made with brown paper. They're made with unbleached paper. And I didn't think that was important. You know, I was like, screw it. Who cares? You know, I mean, I, I ran out of these at one time, and I had some old white... Uh, uh, filters that I had in there for about 10 years, you know, and they, they weren't stained. They didn't have no mold on them. They didn't have no dust on them. So I put them in the coffee maker and I put my tea in it and that tea tasted awful. I said, Oh my God, what's causing this? And more than that, the tea failed on the counter. You know, it, it actually, uh, 
Yeah, all tea will grow stuff in it if you don't refrigerate it, which I usually refrigerate my green tea, but sometimes I won't because I want to encourage myself to drink it. I, I want to encourage myself to drink a gallon, a half a gallon of it a day because I make a gallon every time I make it. So there's that. All right, so here's the way I make this type of tea, okay? Get one of these. You put it in the in the coffee maker like this, the, in the filter holder, the bucket like this, and I get a, a soup spoon. It's it's a soup spoon. And what I'll do is just reach on in there like this. I'll get one. Oop. Damn it. One, two, heaping spoonfuls of green tea it's got to go across the bottom and I might I might get a little dibby there we go so there's that you close this up okay then I get my black tea and my black tea is only I only get one okay I try to just get one and I pour it right across the top like that I might get a little, a little dibby of that too. So maybe, there you go. And that's it. Um, I need to go down to my Afghani market and get me another bag of this black tea. And that's what I wind up with that I put in the coffee maker. Uh, just put in the coffee maker. I fill the, the uh, uh, glass uh, pitcher up. All the way to the top, which is 12 cups, pour it in. My Mr. Coffee Maker has a setting on the left side that says strong. And I hit press the other thing and I just walk away. And I let it make. And I've let this stuff set in the coffee maker made for pff, six hours. And what happens, the coffee maker will time out after about an hour, it'll turn itself off and it cool stuff cools off. And then I get my uh, gallon jug of water. And let me go get that. Let me go get that. I want to show you. What are you doing, Poopy? It's Poopy sitting on my dirty jeans. <sighs> so, I fill this up halfway with water, about right there, and I put the, the base in from, you know, the 12... Uh, cups of green tea base and I'll fill it up to the top and then what I'll do is I'll decant myself I'll pour myself out a a cup of tea and then I'll add more water to the top of it because it's strong enough where it'll stay strong it'll stay good okay so there you go there's there's the there's the Deer Park water there's the green tea I always say it's two green tea to one black tea okay and what the black tea does is it helps tamp down on the green tea flavor a little bit well you still taste the green tea but you taste the black tea black tea is pretty strong and uh, it's just a real good mix I mean I'm so used to this now now you know 20 years ago if I tasted this I'd probably say that's nasty but you know from somebody who's drank liquor and drank beer you know, drinking something that doesn't have a pleasant taste and getting used to it is something you get used to. All right, so we got that. Now, last thing I want to show you, and I want to make this video fast because the last video went long and, hell, it, it didn't even record. <laughs> so, last but not least on the Hits Parades, I got... Uh, the, I got the green tea that I drink every day. I got the Deer Park water I drink every day. Cory Krill Oil Pills. These are Krill Oil Pills. This is different than fish oil. Krill Oil is way stronger than fish oil. Krill is a little tiny creature lives in the sea. And when they get that and they squeeze them out and they get the oil out of them, the omega-3s that are in them are way more powerful than fish oil. But they're, they are a premium product. And krill oil, a quarry, is one of the best on the market. Now, Mega Red, you got to be real careful about Mega Red. 
because they're real slimy because they will sell you krill oil in the same bottle that they sell fish oil in. They'll also sell you krill oil that's mixed with fish oil. And if they do that, all they have to do is put one little drop of krill oil in the whole batch of pills. And then they can say, well, it's, it's krill oil and fish oil when all you're buying is fish oil. So Mega Red can kiss my ass. I will probably never buy their products again because I bought their product back when my wife was taking this thinking that it was krill oil and I got it home and I went, oh, Jesus Christ, this is all fish oil. And I just got, it made me so mad. At the time, I was fighting battles for my wife. And I just, I didn't even, I didn't even take it back. I just said, you know, I'll never buy your product again. So that's when I started buying only this Corey Krill oil product. I buy, they have a, a, a box at Walmart that's two for $30. Sometimes you can get it on sale. And I usually buy three boxes, which is 90 bucks. And that takes me for about uh, two and a half, three months. But I take uh, four of these a day. One, two, three, four. And I've already taken, I took the four on the last video. So I'm not going to take these four as a stunt. I'll put them back in the, uh, the bottle after we're done with the video. And also, mushroom pills. These mushroom pills right here. Now, I was taking the uh, uh, Spring Valley mushroom pills. And if you can get those, I recommend those. Because they, I felt the genuine, whatever mushrooms they're using in that formula, I felt a genuine improvement in my uh, concentration. It was amazing. I was like, what the hell? Yeah, and it wasn't getting high. Wasn't, you weren't, I wasn't seeing no shit. It was just helping my general concentration now these don't improve it in that way but these have another very important beneficial effect for me and it has to do when i go to the bathroom and it's uh cleaning out my lower intestines when i do a number two and there's something going on with these mushroom pills that they help repair the way that your lower intestine moves a bowel through the intestine and I never expected that. I was like going, I was going to try these. I said, well, I'll try them and I'll see what happens. And I do have some clarity, improved clarity in uh, thinking processes and stuff like that. A little bit improvement in uh, mental outlook because I am a constant sufferer of depression. And I have to be real careful about what I eat and the things I do that I don't do self-destructive things. Uh, and then I actually accept that life is kind of going to suck, but the small things in life are what you got to appreciate. And you got to, you got to grab onto that. You know, it, I just had, uh, two young gentlemen come by my house from this, uh, Jehovah's Witnesses church that, uh, they reached out to me and invited me to come to their church. And then I know people have heard all kinds of crap about Jehovah's Witnesses. These are two of the nice, nicest people I've ever been uh, talked to. I've talked to them repeatedly. They've never been pushy. Um, I've been to their church repeatedly. It's it's a Christian-based church. All they, The whole thing about Jehovah is Jehovah is God. Jehovah is Jesus Christ. They appreciate the teachings of Jesus Christ and living that word every day. Um, so I know that they get a bad rap. And, you know, as far as I'm concerned, they're pretty cool. Uh, my, if you wanted to categorize me, I grew up in a Baptist household. Uh, I worked around Catholic people, uh, Catholic Hispanic people for 35 years that were great people. I worked around Muslim people that were amazing people. Amazing people. Amazing people. I had one just pass away unexpectedly, which I suspect was because of uh, the jab. And we feel his loss every day. And we miss you, Shabon. He was one of the most amazing human beings I ever worked with. So I don't have this, I don't, you know, <laughs> you can't sell me no bill of hate. You know, I just, I know I've been very blessed to have wonderful people around me my whole life. So anyway, the mushroom pills, getting back to them. 
I take four of these a day. The the recommended dose is uh, two or uh, three. Okay, I take four of these a day, and they genuinely, along with the four uh, krill pills, which they recommend two, um, they make a huge difference in my health. Uh, the krill pills made a huge difference in my wife's blood pressure. Actual measurable difference. It lowered it to the point where the doctors were astonished what they were seeing. They said, what are you all doing? Because my wife could come off of heart medicines. But then unfortunately, her sister, who actually controlled a lot of what my wife felt about herself, because she had, her whole life, her sister had exerted control over my wife's psyche. And she said to my wife, I don't like those. I wouldn't take those. And so to make her sister happy, my wife said, I don't want to take those anymore. And what you have to understand is when you're dealing with somebody in that kind of situation, you cannot put stress on them. You have to accept what they say. You have to love them. You have to say, I love you, honey. Okay, we'll have to figure another way to lower your blood pressure. And I knew where it came from, and there was nothing I could do about it. But we did have that bit of information about the doctors were astonished. And so I, that's why I take the, 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 the krill oil, because it works. Now, it's not fish oil. It's krill oil. Now, if you order this online, you should order it during the, the winter months. If you and if you buy this in the store, you should put this in the refrigerator. This needs to be put in the refrigerator. I don't think that the mushroom pills have to, but I put them in the refrigerator anyway. But these definitely have to be held under refrigeration because these pills, the fish oil, the krill oil has a tendency to eat through these pills and uh, the body of the pills, and it'll make it into a bunch of mush in the summertime. But that's it. Uh, now I did. I brought these out because. Um, on occasion, I've taken these type of pills for 40 years. And this pill right here, I know the smell of this pill. That's a, that's a hard pill right there, right there. This is a super vitamin B complex pill. They used to sell these, uh, they used to call them stress tabs. And they used to come in a blue bottle. And I used to gulp these like freaking M&Ms. I used to take like three or four at a time twice a day. And I probably poisoned my liver and kidneys with that shit. But it did help. They were bright orange. But they did help uh, brunt the depression I was feeling. And I that's where I found out that if you're drinking beer, um, after you get your drunk on and, and you come out of that and you get your hangover and you start coming up out of your hangover, your depression symptoms will dive. They will get tremendously worse. Now, I didn't take the stress tabs when I was drinking, but I'm just saying that something about the alcohol drains something out of a chemical out of your brain that's uh, a temporary chemical you get from your food. And so that the next day after you drink is, I used to get tremendous depression from about 8 in the morning to about 11, uh, 11 o'clock around, around lunchtime after I drank a lot of beer and I I could actually uh, I could actually time it and I was just like what the fuck is this so you need to be aware of that too if you're drinking is that you're you're giving yourself a ride on that train the more you drink the, the deeper that train will go and then there's also this which is calcium magnesium and zinc which I bought that uh, just as a uh, a supplementary uh, and I already took all of these pills on the last video that didn't record so I'm not gonna take them again but you see what they look like these type of hard pills like this unlike this which is a, a soft pill that has the mushroom in it and this is a soft pill that has the oil in it these kind of hard pills are real hard for the body to digest and I suspect these are the pills they're talking about when they uh, they used to talk about uh, guys that would clean like Don's Johns and stuff like that, or like sewage areas that had 
screens on them and they would find these pills undigested in the screens and they would say you know that shit's not digesting in the body it's just a waste of money so there's that all right so last but not least is this right here this is called advanced charcoal these are charcoal pills these are an amazing asset to anyone who is suffering from uh digestive uh problems these uh uh Activated charcoal pills, if you're having uh, bowel problems or stomach problems, uh, first off, if you're drinking, you need to stop drinking. Second off, if you're drinking sodas, especially diet sodas or any kind of energy drink that has sucralose in it, you need to stop drinking that shit right away. Sucralose will obliterate your guts. It will, it will actually obliterate your guts. Aspartame isn't much better. Aspartame and sucralose are both poisons. Get off of that. Get off the alcohol. Um, but this right here, activated charcoal tablets. I used to, at one point I was taking four of these. Knucklehead just jumped up on next to the camera. Um, I was taking four of these in the morning, four of these at night. And what it was doing was it was scrubbing out my insides because that's what this is. All it is is charcoal. This has no nutritional value. One thing I would tell you about this activated charcoal is if you are taking medicines, you cannot take this until two hours before or two hours after you took your medicine. Because what this will do is it will absorb your medicine and run it right outside your body. That's how good this shit is. They actually use this stuff in cases of poisoning. I urge you to go to an urgent care facility if you get poisoned. Don't take this thinking it's going to save your life. They need to know what kind of poison you took or whatever, whatever kind of poison your kid took and to give you the right way to rid your body of the poison. And get down to an urgent care facility as fast as possible. Tell them what it was, and they will tell you whether you can just pass it out the back end or you need, whether you need to get your stomach pumped or you need to throw it up. But this stuff works. This is really good at any kind of stomach upset or uh, um, gut upset. Uh, one thing I would tell you about this. If you go on an activated charcoal uh, program, it's going to take about four days for this to work. It takes about four days. You, and your shit's going to be black. I'm just telling you. When your shit starts turning black, you notice stuff is working because what it does is it goes through and it is black charcoal and it will turn your shit black. And then unfortunately, people freak out because they've been told that, well, if, you're, if your shit's black, you got blood in your stool. Well, that's not what's going on with this stuff. But this stuff works really good. Um, it will also make your turds hard as a brick if you don't drink enough water. So just be ready for that. Um, but And I also recommend if you're having bowel problems, if you're having uh, stomach or bowel problems, you need to go on a fast. I mean, really, a fast is an amazing health benefit. And one last thing, one last thing. I, I want to tell this right now to everybody that will listen. I'm probably going to make another video about this. Right now, there is a drug manufacturer that's selling a pill, and that's on the conservative radio stations, on an ad. It's like pro, pro long or something like that, or pro lamb or something like that, and they they say uh, the Nobel Prize discovery in medicine called autophagy. Medicine ain't got nothing to do with autophagy. Autophagy is a natural body process of when you go on a fast that your body goes inside of the body and starts searching out damage and eating it to break down what that's made of to create energy for the body to survive. And in that process of autophagy, it repairs damage. It has nothing to do with medicine. It has nothing to do with Pfizer. It has nothing to do with none of those drug companies. They're trying to hijack it. They're trying to hijack autophagy. Autophagy came straight from God himself to help you get better. It has nothing to do with medicine. It has to do with nutrition. It has to do with the lack of eating triggering a natural body process that creates healing in the body. That's why fasting is so important. But these 
pieces of absolute human trash who are in the drug companies. They're trying to steal that word, autophagy, and they're trying to connect it to this drug, prolong or prolam or whatever, pro-stupid, whatever it is. And they're trying to say that, oh, look what the medical community made. No, you didn't make shit. This is a, this is a natural body process. You know, autophagy is a natural body process. So just when you hear those ads and you hear somebody say autophagy and fasting, and then they, you hear them say, oh, well, you can take this pill. And this is just like autophagy. It's just like when they say, oh, sucralose. Oh, it's just like sugar. No, it's not. Sucralose is a chemical, a refined chemical, poison. It's not just like sucralose. It's sucralose is not just like, uh, sucrose is a form of sugar, sucrose. But that's how slimy these people are. They took the word sucrose and put la in it, sucralose. They're not the same thing. Sucrose is a form of sugar. Sucralose is a highly toxic, addictive chemical that will kill you. Before it kills you, what it'll do is you'll go to a doctor to get medicine to treat all the symptoms it creates. When the doctor could say, what are you drinking? Oh, I drink energy drink. Well, what's in the energy drink? What sweetens it? Sucralose. You need to stop drinking that. Do you drink any aspartame? I have a Diet Coke every now and then, and you need to stop drinking that too. Both of those chemicals are destroying your insides. Do that, and the thing is about sucralose poisoning is you have to get off of it for about two months to repair the damage to your insides. So don't get off of it for a week and go, I don't feel any better. I'm just going to keep drinking it. It takes two months for your body to recover from the damage it does. So, uh, I've seen that, too, with my wife. So people ask me, well, how do you notice? Because I saw it. Because no doctor told us. Because we went back into what my wife started drinking, and when the symptoms started appearing, and when we pulled the fucking sucralose out of her diet, and we waited too much, she could finally drink water again. But no doctor ever told us that. Because you know why? Because they weren't making money off of it. That's why. That's why. So you got to take care of yourself. Okay? I don't have no hate for the doctors. They're in a business. They're controlled by a business. But we have to be smarter than that. You know? We got grandfathers and grandmothers that lived at 98, 99 years old, and they do all the bad things, and what they do is they just don't let the stress get to them. They don't drink all the artificial crap. They work in their gardens, and they stay busy and they don't worry about the world they just worry about their families and they don't worry about them that much they give them to god and they live their lives a long life so they are my heroes and that's who we should be like you know you don't have to have a bunch of crap to be happy you know and you certainly don't have to change your body or chop anything off to be happy you know if people can't accept you for who you are, then go to other people. You know, fuck them. You know? And always be happy with who you are. Because God made you the way he made you for a reason. And you won't know that until you're ready to get off this planet when you're a very old age. And you'll be pretty happy when you find out the reasons. You know? So anyway, I don't know. I didn't mean to be preaching at you. I just wanted to show you what I do. I got the green tea here. I got this here. Um... That's, those are my two go-tos for beverages. Now, I will occasionally drink a regular Coke. With it's got, it's got high fructose corn syrup in it. I prefer to get the sodas that have regular sugar in it, which is not healthy, but it's not blatantly poison. Um, there is a, uh, a soda called Olipop that Walmart sells, and they're like uh, $2 a can. It's a 12-ounce can, but it's an amazing drink. Uh, it actually helps. It's got probiotics in it. It actually helps your digestion. Uh, very, very wild beverage. Um, anyway, so here you go. That's I got the green tea, got this here, and I got my uh, four um, 
krill oil pills that I take, and I got my four mushroom pills that I take, and I got this here. Um, I hope you all have a wonderful weekend. It's raining down here in Virginia, uh, down here in Falmouth. I live in Falmouth. Uh, I say Fredericksburg because that is the mailing address, but Falmouth is a little spit of a town right north of Fredericksburg. <laughs> it's like five buildings, you know. <laughs> Falmouth, you know. You're like going, oh, well, okay, Falmouth. Oh, where the fuck is it? <laughs> oh, well, you just drove through it. Oh, okay, thanks a lot. But uh, anyway, I hope you're having a great weekend. I'm glad that the poison ivy is going away. I did get my yard cut. Thank you, Lord. I got it cut yes, uh, Thursday, I think it was, by a miracle. I mean, that lawnmower cranked up, and I said, you know what? Maybe I better just go ahead and try to cut this yard. And I cut the yard, and I trimmed it with the mower, and I put the poison out around the house because I put this dry poison out that's in a bag. It's in a great big, like, uh five gallon bag and I cut the end of it and I just walk around the house and I pour it around the foundation of both my garage and my uh, uh, house and then I went ahead and sprayed this uh, liquid poison around my front porch because I got these little bugs these little ants that like to live on the tops of my uh, um, the posts that hold up the overhang of my front porch and you can't have that you can't have bugs living in your property because what they'll do is they will eat the wood that your house is made of to make their home so i went ahead and gave them a dose of poison and then i gave them a dose of roundup because yes i have the evil roundup but the thing about roundup you got to understand is this first off although i wasn't wearing my gloves i should have been wearing my gloves but as long as you don't spray it on yourself as long as you're careful as long as you don't expose yourself to it, you should be all right. Now, the thing is, also, after I got done with that stuff, I went immediately went and washed my hands and my arms. Because there's no part in your life where you want any Roundup to touch your skin. You don't want that to happen. Because that shit is very dangerous. Um, but I got everything done, and it all dried in. It's great. And the uh, yard looks good. And I feel pretty good. I got to get back on the workout, though. I've been dragging my ass, man. And this is what I always say. If you, that's why I went back to 20 as a number because it's real easy to skip a workout. Um, if you feel bad, if you just don't feel like doing it, if you've had a rough day, uh, if you get on a computer, <laughs> uh, then you miss it and it's not good. So. I'll be getting back to my workout. I'll be doing my videos. And uh, I'm doing pretty good. I'm happy that um, even right now, right in here, right in there, I'm getting itching. Okay? Um, I've got some places on my ankles I got itching. i got a place on that side of that leg where I got itching. But I won't scratch it. And what this is, is I when I get poison ivy, the shit gets into my blood and my body fights it. But... There are occasionally places where it pops up, and if I scratch it and I excite it, it can get worse. So you just don't do that. Anyway, thank you for watching this rambling-ass video that went all over the place. I hope you're having a wonderful weekend. God bless you. And remember that God loves you, and he'll help you no matter what. You just got to reach out and ask him. And just, just he's right there next to you. If you need help, please ask him for help. God bless you, folks, and we'll see you next video. Peace.